Albuquerque police say the accident happened here on I-40 in Coors, that firefighters were heading to a call with lights and sirens. Police say at the same time, a pedestrian pushing a shopping cart began crossing the lanes of traffic across the on-ramp. That's when AFR hit the pedestrian. Rescue crews stopped and gave him medical aid, then rushed the man to UNM Hospital, where he died from his injuries. This is far from the first time someone has hit and killed a pedestrian on a busy roadway. For uh, five years running now, uh, New Mexico has the highest rate of pedestrian fatalities across the country. The Governor's Highway Safety Association says New Mexico ranked highest in the nation for pedestrian fatalities per capita in 2020, with 54 deaths last year, most of them in Albuquerque. Nick Forencheck is a civil engineering professor at UNM. He says there are a number of reasons for it. He says the state has warm weather, so people are often out walking and biking. And there are other issues. Certainly there's different social issues of alcohol, drug use, homelessness, um, that are, are intertwined in this. In 2017, the city council passed a pedestrian safety ordinance prohibiting people from standing or assembling on streets, medians, highway exit and entrance ramps, and major intersections, and interacting with people in cars. This is one of those things that we, I think, I feel very strongly about. It can make our city better. It can make it safer for everyone. A judge overturned that ordinance saying it was too broad. It may be coming back, though. I'm going to explain how and why coming up at 6. Nancy Laughlin, KOT Action 7 News. Yeah.